What's up everybody, welcome back to Bonesworks. Today we're unboxing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. Um, this is a pretty similar size box to the Metroid Dread uh, Special Edition, I think it was called, if you guys remember that one. Um, so it's like kind of like, it's not a huge edition, but it's not like a kind of just a small steelbook art book type deal. Um, but we'll get into what's in there in a minute. This is obviously in the series Fire Emblem, which started all the way back in 1990, so it's been going for like almost 33 years now. Um, and I've never played a single one. Um, so my knowledge is extremely limited. I know this game lets you summon past protagonists or something like that. So it seems like maybe like fan favorite characters and stuff will come back maybe, which reminds me a little bit of um, World of Final Fantasy. You know how they brought back those little chibi Kind of past protagonists and stuff um obviously i think this game is much is a like a less of a spin-off and more of a direct um mainline game um so anyway as you see the packaging is this gorgeous red and blue kind of uh combo fading correct way up on one side and upside down on the other or backwards well, i guess so that no matter which way it is it's the right way up huh yeah, that does make sense. It does make sense. So I was thinking if it was like that, it's upside down. But it's not designed for that. Right. Um, so yeah. Obviously on the back here we've got what it, we're, we're going to be checking out. We've got the game card in a plastic case possibly. Do we get both cases? Steelbook case. Um, some art cards, an art book, and a poster. Okay, so I lied. It is basically an uh, art book, steelbook type deal, but it's a, it's a bigger version than uh, most games give you. I think, does it say how many pages the art book is? No, but it looks pretty beefy. So we'll, uh... Ooh, are these the uh, sprites from the original games that they were in maybe? It's pretty retro. Okay, so this all slides out on a single thing, but before we start taking stuff out, we gotta check out this out of sight here because that's some really cool pixel art. Like I said, I'm, I'm guessing these are possibly the original protect. I don't know. That one looks like math. That's about all I know. <laughs> um, and then on the bottom here we've got, I don't know, a smudge. Oh wait, hang on. Is that the continent that we're playing on maybe? Is that land and then ocean? Got a cat in play. Um, so let's check out what we've got in here. We do get the plastic case as well. You want to unbox it for me? You gotta learn to talk to the people though. No, no, no. Less scratching. Alright. Okay, these eye cards are nice. Usually art cards I'm not overly impressed with, they're just kind of like glorified postcards, but there's, there's, hey, there's a lot of them here. Um, I think Marth is probably like the most famous, right? He's in Smash and like I've seen him around. I'm not sure I could name any others. I think there's, maybe if I saw the other one I'd remember, but um, I guess there's kind of glossy cards. Cecilia, Cil sorry, Celica. Sigurd, Sigurd, sorry if I'm butchering these names, Life, Leaf, Roy, that's the other one I recognize, he's been in Smash I think, right, Lynn, Erica, and Ephraim, again these are gorgeous, Ike, actually I recognize that one as well. They've probably been in Smash. You hear a lot of news about Smash. I haven't really played Smash either, but I know characters that get added into it because it's all over the news. Lucina. Sorry, that was... um. Ma oh, I should have skipped it. Ma Makaya? I'm probably horrendously butchering these names, I'm sorry. Lucina. Corin, I recognize that one because there was an amiibo of them, I, th I believe. Like a male and a female, or player one, player two, something like that. 
and Byleth. He looks cool. You guys can see those well enough. So that is the... How many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 12 art cards. That's, that's a pretty substantial amount. You know, usually it's like 2 or 3. Um, I should mention too, as of writing, this is still available. Here in the UK at least. It's available at um, Amazon. I know that much. I don't think it's exclusive anywhere, so you might better get it on like the Nintendo store. Um, I'll check out the game. And we'll come back to the skill book. So the cover is very colourful. I'm loving the colour on the on this these cases. Like that's the type of thing that would if I'd never heard of Fire Emblem, I'd never played what well, I have I have never played one, but if I'd never heard of it and I was like, what is this game? This type of cover is something that grabbed me for sure. I know it's like a strategy type game. Inside here is I don't know. Check that out in a second. They look like the protagonists maybe around the outside here. There's like a dragon biting each other down here. And then there's the Will it focus? Yes, it will. Thank you, camera. That is the cartridge. The EU one anyway. We get that nasty Peggy rating filling up like a quarter of it. Or a sixth of it or whatever it's taken up. Um Right. Steelbook. Obviously the main uh can you see that movement there? Not exactly the most quality of steelbooks. I don't know if this is in every one or just mine or what, but it does have the title on the spine, which is really rare for Nintendo Switch games, I will say. Steelbooks for Nintendo Switch games tend to just ignore the spine and just leave it plain. So to have this title on the spine and the correct way up, that is a huge win for uh, Nintendo. There. The cover here, it looks a little blurry almost. It doesn't look quite as defined as the... Well, maybe it does, maybe it's my eyes. But anyway, it's the same image as the, as the plastic normal cover, but it's... Back is kind of glossy, or no, the back's kind of matte, and the front's kind of glossy. Characters are glossy. This stuff's matte, matte, glossy around here. Make stuff. I, I do really like this effect because sometimes you get those steel books where they're like, um, they'll make stuff stand out by physically making them stand out. They'll like indent the rest and, and emboss the rest or whatever, but then it makes the inside look kind of crap because you can see where the, all the indentations are. I really like this effect more because you get the matte and the gloss. It makes stuff pop but it still leaves a nice smooth finish. And as we'll see on the inside here, there's no like, you know, um, indentations or whatever ruining the inside image which here, uh, so I guess that is what the picture on the back of this thing was. I guess it's that way. So I guess that's the, the oops. I guess that's the map of the, the game. Looks like you got a grass area, a mountain area, a desert area, swamp area maybe, forest area, I don't know. And then final boss in the middle? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the games are set up. It's not. On the back we've got uh, symbols. Are they symbols of all the houses or something from the other games or the other protagonists or something? So that does seem like it's the big uh, selling point of this one, for, at least from their marketing and stuff. It seems like, hey, we're bringing back all the, the you know fan favorites and stuff. All right, now this is with the art book, which I guess is tucked in here somewhere. I was I was the poster as well. I was correct though. It's a thick boy. Posters are always a pain in the ass for unboxing on my setup. They're just so big. Oh yeah, I want to put the game card in. Before we lose it. Alright, we'll come back to that in a minute. Ooh, okay, so the artwork comes wrapped in plastic. 
And it's got a very nice feel to it. It is um, paperback, not hardback. As you probably guessed from the way it was flopping around right there. But see these kind of glossy gold trim here. This this feels kind of um, coarse. I don't know how to describe it, but it is not a smooth. Like this part's nice and smooth, except for the uh, trim there. Um, this is like this kind of. It feels premium. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of like that coarse premium feel to it. Thick plastic almost. I don't know. Wish I could describe that better for you, but um, the front and the back look the same, basically. The uh, Art de Fire Emblem Engage. So wait, is it? Okay, so it's in like French as well, I guess. And I'm not going to go, how many pages are in here since they're numbered? We got 190, so about 200 pages. 200 page art book, basically. That is a substantial art book. So if you're into your art books and you're into Fire Emblem, it's probably definitely worth checking this out. Some gorgeous looking pictures in here. Like I said, I'm not going to go through it all. If you want to see all of it, then I don't know, pick up the edition, but. That's a cool looking, who's that Diamon? We've got the little like 8 bit versions next to him as well. 16 bit or however many bits that car range is. The, uh, that's the art book, like I said, 200 pages there of stuff. Um, trying to figure out how to do this best. Um, let's move all of this stuff out of the way as best we can. So, what did they say it was? A5? A1? A2? It's not A5. That, that, I don't know why hell I said that. It is the cover of the Divine Edition, by the look of it. It is not reversible. It is a single side poster. I mean, there's a lot going on in the poster. That is super cool looking. Unfortunately, like folding posters, you you're, no matter what you do, I feel like you never get the lines out. At least I can never get them out where the, the fold lines are, especially on these like corner ones where it's folded two ways. Um, it would be better if they rolled it and put it as a roll like down the side of the edition or something. I don't know, but uh, it is what it is. Let me finish. Yeah, that's the poster. It's pretty big. I mean, let's bring in the, the steelbook for scale there. That's, you know. We have about half of it in the shot there. That's the halfway line. So it's a substantial size. I can't remember what it said now. A1, I think, was it? A1. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that's everything you get. Um, it's a pretty, it's not, like I said, it's not a huge edition. There's no like statue. There's no little like keychains or figures or whatever else that you get with some of the other fancier editions these days, but it is a really premium feeling edition in my opinion. Um, it's a shame about the steelbook. Like I said, I'm not sure if that's just like mine or maybe my batch or what, that it's not quite, it doesn't feel, feels a bit weak because it's not put together properly, but it looks incredible. It's got the title on the spine. You get 12 art cards, which again looked incredible. 
glorious like gloss to them and shine um you get the plastic case if steelbook is more if you wanted to put the plastic case on your shelf maybe and the steelbook on display i don't know people do different things with steelbooks so you've you've got flexibility there the art book 200 pages of of a lot of art a lot of really nice looking art um and again a real premium feel to it like if you had that on your table or something it would look like it you know some art books look like they're typical throw in like tat this one definitely not the case um and then the poster obviously and uh yeah so let me know in the comments if you've picked this game up i see it's been getting some pretty decent reviews but i think fire emblem usually does right um let me know if you're a fan of the series if you're just getting into it with this one i'm hoping to maybe try and find time to play this one um we'll see how that goes whether it ends up in that backlog of despair i don't know um yeah, if you want to see me play games, I play old, new, good, bad, <laughs> just about anything over on my Twitch channel. You've probably seen um, past streams showing up on my on my channel. Kind of not very good at getting them up in a timely manner, so if you want to see stuff live or more recently, check out the VODs over on Twitch. Um, and yeah, make sure if you want to see more content on this channel, on YouTube, give me that follow, uh, sub, sorry, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Um, and comment <laughs> you know I'm sure you've been on YouTube before you know how this works and my outros are terrible so yeah I'll quit rambling I'll let you guys check out some of these pictures and I hope to see you all next time